<laughs> and, uh, you know, it is really important, I think, to work on a grassroots level. So Mid-Atlantic Ballet is in my backyard. And I think that we need to be working with young people to affect a really diverse community. So I know you guys want to receive all of the awards and you have lots of things to do today and I would really like to talk for a long time. But I want to keep this kind of short and I wanted to ask you, how many people have been to New York City to see Fearless Girl? All right, a few of you, but just a very few of you. So what do you guys think that Fearless Girl means? Anybody shout it out. Girl power. Girl power. Anybody else? Strength. 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 Courage. Courage. Equality. Bravery. Bravery. Okay. So, on the 6th of March, a year ago, and it was freezing cold, the committee behind Fearless Girl, which was 30 of us, I only gave this idea a face, and of course I found two beautiful Delaware models who I'm very, I'm, I'm trying to protect them, or they would be here to join us today. But they're, they're beautiful, I don't want them to be subject to all of the media. Do you guys understand that? Yeah. So, I found these two beautiful models. We made the piece, we made it in like two months. Normally it would take four to six months. It took me two and a half weeks to model the piece, and I purposely simplified the form to mimic the charging bull. The initial message was to celebrate International Women's Day, but to send a message of inclusion to the male-dominant Wall Street community that women were part of that community and that were, we, women were very important to the future of business tomorrow. So over this 13 months, it's kind of, my message has, I think, evolved. So initially, all I wanted to do was to celebrate women and to celebrate International Women's Day. I have not been a traditionally a feminist going out there and picketing for women's rights. In fact, I really haven't felt affronted as a woman like so many women feel in major business. I've always had a female boss. I had parents that were extremely supportive of me. My father always said, you can do and be anything you want to be. But what's become evident is that we have, the World Economic Forum has found that we've, in the last four years, that the disparity between men and women on all levels of society, meaning the socioeconomic levels that actually achieve gender parity, We've, we've gotten even further apart, men and women. And that just doesn't make good common sense. If you then take a look at all of these gender diversity studies online, which any of you guys can look those up, you'll find that the inclusion of women at every level, in the home, in the community, in business, actually results in the estimate is 34% increased profits. So a lot of people are not going to do something because it's the right thing to do, because we want to include women. But if you take a look at those studies, and they're available to all of us, you would be a fool as a business owner not to include women because it makes money, right? But not only does it make money, it, it creates an environment that's much, much nicer to be in. And, oh, and and uh, so I like to achieve it. And I think that the way that we need to do it as a global society is to spread the gender diversity studies, but also to do things in the home that support our children, because they're the future. In 20 years, these guys are going to be the community. So have you treated both your fearless boys and your fearless girls to an equal education? And remember, we're all born into this world without any prejudice, right? It's learned. And we learn it from our teachers, our parents, the community around us, right? So unlearn the prejudice. Try and open your mind to the people around you, not only the opposite gender, to see them with more clear eyes, but to understand that not only do we need gender diversity, to make better decisions. We also need cultural diversity. And that's the higher road. That's the global path forward. 
that's the way that we grow and evolve as, as a society. So I think we, I'm probably going to have to wrap it up right now so that we can do awards. But the bottom line is, when you're talking about Fearless Girl, she's a symbol of courage that obviously the women's movement needed. But this is not just about women. It's about our society, all of us, the way that we work together so that we understand that men and women are actually very different, different chemistry speaking. So what they found is that women use a lot more white matter. Okay, they can multitask. Men use a lot more gray matter. That means they can jump on a situation and take advantage of an opportunity quickly. We need both to make better decisions. And the sooner that you understand that, the sooner we evolve as a global community. So it's about all of us, together, respecting each other. And be fearless. Yay! Awards, right? Awards, awards.